Hey Virgo, thanks for stopping by and clicking on your daily tarot card reading. I've got a bee who's really fascinated with me right now for some reason. And uh, yeah, it's one of the joys of recording outside is we have nature in all of its glory. Yeah. So I just wanted to jump on here and do a quick energy check-in. Bicyclists go by, I'm sitting by a duck pond. It's kind of cool. It's a good spot to be. See? There's a little pond behind me. I'm using uh, the Radiant Rider Weight Tarot today, so I'll have to be careful which cards I flash because some of them have, you know, poorly drawn artistic interpretations of the human body and apparently um, there's concern about that on YouTube so I don't want to offend anybody you know with <laughs> with the human body even though that's what we all have our bodies so if you don't have a body you, you weren't able to click the play button to watch the video anyway so that's me being nitpicky um Let's get into this reading. Spirit, please bring forth the most clear, concise, accurate messages for our Virgo Collective. What do they need to know right now for their highest and best unfolding? What'll, what messages would benefit them to be aware of for the energies that they're interacting with right now? Spirit, what's the overall theme for now for the Virgo Collective? Ooh, buddy. The Emperor. It's big daddy energy, big boss energy. Not necessarily, yeah. That's, that's the boss right there, the Emperor. Uh, it's card number four in the uh, uh, Major Arcana. Spirit, what's this Emperor energy about? What more can we say about this Emperor energy for the Virgos? An Ace of Swords, new idea, new concept, new thought. Can also be new communication coming in. <laughs> okay, what's this communication about? This emperor type energy communication. What's this about, Spirit? It's about seven of pentacles. How does your garden grow? What have you planted? What did you sow? How's it going? You know, how are things progressing in something you've been working on? Something you've put effort and energy into? And we have the Seven of Cups, Seven, Seven. Um, double Sevens might have a meaning for you, um, but these that's about options that you have. Uh, wow, he landed right on my mustache. That is hilarious. Cool, so Seven of Pentacles to Seven of Cups. What are the options? What have you been working on? You know, and this information's coming to you. Either you're doing the evaluation and you're getting that spark of an idea that leads you into that emperor-type energy and a call to action, a page of wands. You know, a new passion and invigorates you with passion into action. Page of wands is new energy. It's new passion. Um, it gets that first date type energy with someone. It's that, you know, excitement of trying something new. That's very cool. Spirit, are there any energies that are coming towards our Virgo collective now, or there will be in this very near now moment? Oh, we have Wheel of Fortune and a turtle plopping in the water. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune, the wheel is turning and whatever your karma is or has been is going to be getting paid out so whatever your actions have been you're going to be reaping the rewards of those actions what more can we say about this wheel of fortune energy for the virgo collective spirit a knight of the wands more fire sign energy aries leo sagittarius type energy 
Uh, the Knight of Wands is passionate, fast moving. Um, yeah, they can be a bit of a player. So here for a good time, not a long time type energy. Uh, it initiates things. Doesn't necessarily maintain them, but gets things going. Cool. Is there anything else coming towards our Virgo Collective spirit? Hmm. Queen of Cups. Emotionally balanced, intuitive. Um, this is water sign energy. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Uh, feminine. She's receptive. But in this case, her cup is closed. She may not be open to receive. There is that. She keeps her emotions to herself. She doesn't necessarily share what her emotions are on a situation. Are there any potential challenges in the now moment for the Virgo Collective that they should be aware of? Spirit, are there any potential challenges? Hmm. The Six of Swords. Staying in calmer waters. Moving to calmer waters. Moving away from conflict. That's what that card symbolizes. That could be a challenge for you, needing to do this. Anything else, Spirit, with uh, potential challenges for the uh, Virgo Collective? Nine of Cups, being good on your own, being happy with yourself and what you have. Um, this is the opposite of codependency. This is um, good on my own dependency. Anything else, Spirit, that we may want to say? around that challenge. So the Six of Swords, Nine of Cups, moving on to calmer waters and being good on your own. So separating from a conflict and being self-sufficient and needing to take an action. This is not a decision, this is an action. You're turning right, you're turning left. You don't even have time to decide, you just do it. Or you stall and do nothing. Ah, oh, Spirit, what advice do you have for the Virgo Collective as to how to best work through these challenges? What advice do you have? The Empress is a card of Taurus and Libra. This is divine feminine energy. Um, she is abundant. She's fertile. She's creative. She can manifest the world she desires and it comes to her. She attracts. She does not pursue. The Empress is not in pursuit. The Empress is an attractor. So, Spirit's saying, if what you want, attract it to you. Anything else, Spirit? Advice? The Knight of Swords is a card of swift communication. Speak your truth and also don't be afraid to hold to your truth. Don't get pushed around. The Knight of Swords is not easily persuaded or dissuaded from what their course of action is. Anything else, Spirit, that you'd like to say? Oh, can't show that one because there's almost accurate depictions of the human body, though not quite. Um, the lovers, yeah, choose from love. When the choice arises, choose from love, not from fear. Um, the lovers is a card of choice and it's beckoning you to choose from love. Yeah. That's what I got for you, Virgo. Thanks for stopping by. I appreciate you. Uh, if you got something out of the reading, push some of the buttons down below. Yeah. Maybe put some words in the comments section if you want, if you feel called to that. Uh, if you want a private reading with me, a one-to-one -one about your situation, if you're looking for clarity on something, I'd be more than happy to help. Uh, look me up on Instagram. Iron Rose Alchemist is my handle there. I separate the words with underscores, so iron underscore rose underscore alchemist. And uh, yeah, send me a message there. I'd be happy to do a reading for you. 
Anyway, this is where we're parting ways. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. And sending you lots of love. From my heart to yours, I send you love and I send you peace. See you around, Virgo.